Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video. And this video is going to be a bit different from the rest of the video that I usually make. Namely, because I want to cover something that I think can be very helpful to a lot of the CGI artists, uh, game developers, archivists, uh, people, generally anybody who does work with textures and materials. So, for the last week or so, I've been playing around with different uh, AI solutions that are basically going to help us quite a bit with our work. And today, in this video, I want to go ahead and cover this one. So it's called withpoly.com. So what this thing does, it basically generates textures within uh, seconds with the help of AI. So they have probably been quite a few times where you need a particular texture and you need to either go and try to find something either on Google or on some other uh, website. But then what happens is generally a lot of people have the same idea. So you can see repetition in a lot of uh, different 3D uh, works, which kind of makes your work stand out a, li a little less than it could. Well, with this thing, what you're basically going to do is you're going to circumvent that issue. So, how does this thing actually work? First of all, when you're on the uh, website, what you can see is when you're in the uh, look on the left side, you can see that in here you have quite a few uh, different options, but at the moment you have a basically a uh, locked sign next to it, meaning that at the moment the only thing that works is the textures. And I'll show, I will show you how this thing works. But I actually had a chance to talk to the developers of this AI solution. And they are hard at work of actually incorporating the rest of these things. So even though I initially said that this is a solution that is just going to help you with creating textures with the help of an AI, they're very... Uh, close to releasing the graphics portion of this thing and they're working on the rest of these things so as you can see this thing will be able to make uh, 2d uh, graphics they will make illustrations icons sprites and even wood marks like logo signatures and brands and i really think that this looks very interesting and very promising but for now we're going to keep down to the textures and i'm going to click on over here now once you click over here, what you're going to be uh, basically greeted is this prompt where you can type in anything you might want to create. As soon as you uh, basically create anything, you just click on the generate button. Now, uh, since you're probably, if you're following along, you don't have the pro version, which is something you need to register for and then go ahead and get it for yourself you're only going to have this portion of the uh, options here this thing over here is the generate hd texture is just for the pro versions so how does this thing work well let's take a look at our simple scene that i have set up here in 3ds max so as you can see it's just a regular teapot uh, placed on a plane nothing complicated so let's see how we can add in some textures to this thing and how they're going to look like so for example let's go ahead and create something new because up until now i've actually created uh, a few uh, designs or a few textures and you can check anything you've created previously by going into the my library so when you click over here, it will show you what kind of textures you've created and what you've used as a prompt or what you've te uh, typed in as a text. So I want to go ahead and try something new. So let's go ahead and create something maybe like white marble or cream marble with, uh, I don't know, black spots. And let's see how this thing is going to work. I generally have no idea because every time you click on generate, it will give you different results. So after like a couple of seconds, you're going to get 
these textures as a preview. All right, so here we go. As you can see, it gave us different uh, look. And here we go. So these are all uh, lower resolution images. So these are more inclined for something like a preview. For example, like if I see that I like any of these, for example, let's see maybe this one. So I'm going to go here which says generate AG texture and I can choose which resolution I need or I can go with a custom resolution. But for this one, I'm going to go with a recommended one, which is uh, 2K resolution. So I'm going to click on Q, uh, Q job. And generally this takes probably like two, maybe three minutes to finish up a full on texture. And the great thing about this one is that the texture that is created is actually a seamless, tileable texture. So you don't have to go ahead and create any um, uh, tiling issues for your work. So this will be a fully tileable texture. Now, another thing that I also want to mention is that while talking to the developers, I actually specifically asked them if their solution will be able to crank out all the necessary uh, textures that would come by when you're creating a material, meaning a normal map, a roughness map, or a specular map. And they assured me that that thing is coming as well. So for now, with the help of the AI, you get the original texture or the diffuse or albedo map. But in the works, as they told me, uh, we're gonna be able to go ahead and literally just click and download all the uh, maps that we would need to create a full on material inside any of the 3D um, softwares that we might use. So I'm actually gonna uh, pause for a second until this thing finishes and we'll continue. All right, so here we go with the created texture. So as you can see, this is a tileable texture. So if I click on download, I can save it down to any folder that I choose. Click on save. This will save it as a PNG file. I right, close this thing. Now let's open it up in our 3ds Max and let's just pipe in that uh, texture into our material. So I'm gonna put it over here. Uh, take the cream marble and just pipe it into our bitmap over here all right so let's make it so it's visible and start it up like this all right so right away i can see that this thing is giving me off a nice look and if i want to decrease the size of uh, the pattern that i have here i can just go in and decrease the tiling so if i go 0 0.5 with 0 0.5 we can see that we have this thing like this and also since it's a tileable texture we can increase this and get a much better looking um, base for this. Now, again, like I said, uh, it only pipes out diffuse maps at the moment. It will go ahead and do roughness or specularity maps in the near future. And also we can just increase the uh, reflectivity of this thing. And you can more or less make this thing look like a proper marble very very easy now let's go ahead and create another uh, material for this thing and just apply that thing to our um, teapot over here and let's see what do we want to create with this thing and since we're going to be creating another material this is a good um, place to actually explain one more of the options that you have here namely you can choose a color palette based on a different uh, image or a different JPEG that you have by just pressing over here and selecting an image that you want to base the color palette on. Or what you can do is also by just clicking over here, you can choose what kind of a color you would like to get for the texture or predominantly what kind of a color you would like to get for your texture. So I'm gonna put this on uh, green. Let's put in another one that's gonna be more towards blue and let's go with one with red so actually you know what let's go even with the yellow so a lot of different uh, 
variations in the color palette and it will try to match all of these somehow and get us a result. So what kind of a image would we like to have for our teapot over here? Let's try, well, let's try rough plastic. And let's see what it does with the rough plastic. All right, well, make sure you write this stuff down uh, properly. Otherwise, you're just going to confuse the hell out of the AI. So let's see, generate rough plastic and we will try to match it with these four colors. Let's see what it comes up with. Well, this is interesting. So what it does, it will create a composition or it will basically try to create something. Ooh, this is interesting. But here's the other thing. If you don't really like what you're seeing over here, just click on generate again, give it another world and let's see how it deals with this input again. Now also, it's uh, also a good idea to give it a more descriptive text on which it can uh, work with, but yeah. So this thing, so we basically mixed up all the colors and gave us something like this. Or it can be very creative with something like this. Although I'm very curious how this thing would look like. So let's go ahead and cue this job. So rough plastic, it has all the colors and it will make this thing into a tileable texture. So let's give it a minute and we'll be back as soon as this thing is finished. All right, so we're back and definitely not ex what, ex uh, what I was kind of expecting to see out of this. But it kind of makes sense because this is not a really a texture that you can make it into a tileable one. So even the AI was having quite a bit of problem and it came up with something that I really I don't really think it's uh, a good choice. So I'm going to go ahead and just come back here again, remove the color palette that we uh, did. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on generate. And by doing it like this, I can just get a clear uh, rough plastic thing for the uh, for the AI to generate and it should give us some there we go so rough plastic kilo there we go hey it's making porous plastic which is kind of interesting choice but in any case uh, I'm gonna take this one and queue it up and let's see how this thing uh, works all right now let's save this one down plastic open it up in 3ds max let's just pipe that one in here and let's see how this thing looks all right so looks a bit interesting if we increase the tiling to let's try three by three two by two It has a bit of an interesting look though. it. Uh, if I go ahead and just use this thing and just oh, try and put it into the reflection map. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to be a bit more interesting. But yeah, you get the idea. So by just using this thing and uh, using it as a prompt you can simplify uh, your need for textures whenever you're working on a project and you want to create something that can be unique and fast without having to spend too much time trying to find that texture online. So that about covers the basics of uh, what this thing can do so far. And I really hope you guys were at least piqued or have piqued your interest and we'll give it a uh, try and check it out for yourself. I will leave a link below in the description of the video where you will be able to uh, go ahead and uh, check this thing. And also I will leave a, uh, an affiliate link 
in which if you decide to go and get the pro version you're gonna get a discount on it and with this I hope you guys had fun and you also managed to pick up some new tricks and learn something new from the video if you'd like to support me you can always click the join button and the direct links will be in the description below there is also a thanks button under every video right now on the channel so you can use that thing as well and the most helpful thing you can do is just click the like and subscribe buttons and comment below in the video. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.